Good evening, sweethearts. Welcome to Evening with Gelda program. It is always a blissful time to meet you all again on every Sunday. So I invite you to join me to welcome our guest today. I'm talking about it, Shahid Abbas. Shahid Abbas is a poet and writer. He was born in Villa de Kerala, Teluyanwala, Faisalabad, Pakistan. He studied first at the Government Degree College in Teluyanwala and also at GC University, Faisalabad, where he attended the uh, MA degree in English Literature. Shahid's poetry has been published in many international books. Also, his stories in an international newspaper. He is a co-author of We Speak in Syllables. And he's going to complete his own book, Food for Hungry Hearts. Wow! It's an interesting title indeed. So come on, dear poet, let's start our interview. Shahid, sir, what is your involvement with literature and poetry? Something planned? I am truly honored to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Like a duck to water, bird and I. But much I owe my blessed mother. Uh, she reads to me each night when I was a child. Also my teachers took an interest in me what I was reading, making suggestions for exposing me to literature. From there I have become an uh, amnurious reader writer. Which poet style holds your attention the most? I love classical haiku and in it I spend a great deal of time, uh, however I also have the poetry, love the poetry of Rumi, Iqbal, Hafiz Sadi, Chinese poet, I love Virgil, Dante, Shakespeare, Samuel Toller and more recently for your words and spoken word. What's your current website book? which you would like to recommend to your readers. The Three Body Problems by Chin Li. Uh, the ideas of chaos is not so much randomness as a hidden order to think that can be at a uh, time quite beautiful but uh, also uh, quite strange. With the following items, do you look for to inspire in your writings? Nature, the human being, or feelings and emotions? Nature inspires me. Uh, simple things. The idea that uh, all life is connected, perhaps deeper ways and then we measure this is a good to say that human relationships emotions are such part of me nature exists in my soul as my soul exists in my body I grew up in a natural environment so my soul and uh, nature uh, mixed together like that With the advent of technology, online reading is available to everyone. 
its effect. Do you think this has reduced the purchase of the physical books? I know it has for me uh, fast text I speak uh, are public domain are publicly available uh, copies ebooks uh, there is certain uh, advantage that uh, can be easily shared seated cross or, or referenced Please cite the greatest poet of all time in your opinion. Twice um, I return again and again Romy, John Dunn and Iqbal. Their poetry inspired me a lot. With poets, do you identify yourself when reading their writings? I identify with the Haiku Master Isa. He is uh, for me a human of Zen, Japanese master. What's your advice? for those who are starting in the field of poetry. Lesson, message, uh, read everything, listen to your favorite songs, uh, practice writing your poems each day. There is something of beauty or uh, significance to capture and uh, share. Us. Writing should be an act of love and passion or just an academic information? It can be both. There are many uh, parts uh, teach through their poetry. Uh, there is opportunities to appreciate poetry on different levels but to understand the heart of another and share in the uh, humanity, this is what I allow to party to. And Iqbal says, uh, when truth has no burning, then it is philosophy. When it gets burning uh, from the heart, it becomes poetry. Now, finalizing our interview, kindly could you recite a poem of you for all of us now? Uh, mask, COVID, abolish your mask. Be gone to where you came from. We have you dis sorry, why have you disinfected our lives? Why have you destroyed our happiness? Why must you show us our limitations? Why have you made our lives stand still? Humanity has faced many pandemics. It has been victorious. No one can be subsumed humanity. God greatest creation. We will remark our life. We will rearrange our priorities. We will not rest until you leave the earth. Let the shell people fly. Let them take advantage from the situation. Good sense will always prevail. You will, will be conquered by Allah. Thank you so much.
for uh, providing me chance to share my thoughts to entire universe. Wow! Thank you so very much, Simi the Poet, for this brilliant moment with us. And you guys, you know, if you like this moment, if you like this information from our talented poets from PWI International Group, please ring the bell. Let your um, your comment and subscribe our channel, okay? See you in the next Sunday. Stay well, stay safe. Bye-bye.